get involved with. Three matches he's come through this weekend already. Eight matches played in total. Can he make it nine out of nine? It's only one thing I've learned today, Rob, and that's that I'm going to have to rush up on my, my check name pronunciation skills before we go to Prague. 60. Deceptive. Very, very deceptive they are. I'm going to have to uh, get on social media and make some friends from that area of the world and maybe go on 59. an app on Actually my phone and uh, get some pronunciation lessons. You've got to pay close attention to all the accents that appear in their alphabet. Not quite easy as ABC here for Max Hopps so far, but he's looking at a chance here to break back. 59. He's dragged all three darts a little low there. How much pressure can Carroll put on? Plenty. That's enough. 97. Max oh, a sensible switch. Squaring up to 90. If he'd have got the treble, it would have been so much better, but 90 is a good number. Will he get a pop at it? Double 16 for Hop, Hop, Hop. Hop, yeah, hop, 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 in. Max hop. Third leg is Max to throw first. Great response by Max Hop. And Game on. just keeps Sedlacek in check. There's only one person on the whole European tour who gets this kind of ovation. And I'd go so far as to say it's even better. And we will find out in two weeks in Graz. 140. Sulevichville, after the way he got a reception last year. And I still don't know how Johnny Clayton beat him in Graz because. 108! Because it was so vociferous, but. Sedlacek is being the kind of guy who isn't intimidated by anything. Showing some metal here. Well, his scoring has really improved. 100. 79.29 the average yesterday against Ian White. It was 96 and a half in that 6-5 win against Darren Webster in round three. And OK, he's not backed up the 180 with uh, anything over a ton there. But more than holding his own so far. 100. 102.38 the average at the moment for Sedlacek. He's showing us a level that we didn't know he had. 41. And that's no disrespect. We thought he was a steady player. But he's showing us he's got a couple of levels. The improvement in his finishing from yesterday to the match against Webster was astonishing as well. 122. Evil Charlie. 85. What's the basis Actually, of that nickname 39. again? I think Charlie is a nickname for anybody who's called Carroll. Ah. Or maybe it's to do with Checkpoint Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Max hops on point there, though. I don't know whether it had something to do with another kids' program. It could well have. There could be any number of possibilities and reasons why. Mind you, would you have a, the word evil in a kids' program? Is that going a bit far? Well, it might be going a bit too over the top. Mind you, I remember a cartoon called Rude Dog and the Dweebs. And also, let's not forget the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which yeah. don't sound too user-friendly for anybody under the age of six. Yeah, nobody's had a nickname related to that yet. Too long. I am very much looking forward 47. to the potential of Karel Sedlacek in front of his home crowd in Prague. I think it'll be something to watch. But that is in a few weeks. That's actually in June. 100. And it is on the provision that he qualifies. It's not a guarantee, that's for sure. There are some very good players in the Czech Republic. 60. It was Eight. never a guarantee that Max Hopp was going to get through home nation qualifiers. Well... He hasn't got to worry about them anymore because he, he's not allowed to play in them. It should be pointed out as well that these two uh, do know each other very well yeah, indeed. They I. do spend a lot of time together practicing. Max lives fairly close by to the Czech border. And they have known each other for a few years, even though there is a bit of an age One gap between the two of them. So there's no unknown quantity here. There's an age gap between many players and Max Hopp. 
even though he's a seasoned, well, he's not a veteran, but he's a seasoned professional now in his early 20s. What a ludicrous thing to say. 100. Aaron Liu Guan, 154. Maybe it's going to help Sedlacek, the fact that he does know him so well. 58. All the pressure's on Hop here. Make no mistake. Perfect start from Max. Oh, he's not going to leave double one, is he? Trouble tens the prudent one. That will do. Now he needs trouble 19. Doesn't get it. And now Hop has choices. Surely it's a big 20. Oh, well, he was good on double 16 earlier in the match, but now he's gone for tops. Yeah, interesting that. But it proves vindicated, that particular decision. I think it's really funny when the, the camera pans out of the crowd there and almost everybody gets on their feet and puts their arms in the end. There's one lowly gentleman who looks like a member of a rock band who just doesn't move. Not very impressed with that 52 check out and a 3 1 lead. I'll wait for something else to come along. There he is. Wasn't too impressed with that. I'm sure he'll be impressed if Max gets through this game. I'm casting my back to Hildesheim at the, the last Euro Tour. There was a, a gentleman made very famous for his, uh, his bongo bongo cam. On the bongo cam, yeah. Bongo cam skills. 96. I think the bongo cam skills have been lacking here in Munich. So you're on notice, Zarbrücken. Get practicing your bongo skills. Oh, no. Skills are plenty from Hop who is under a bit of pressure in the next week because he's defending that 25,000. And there's a brilliant piece of play from Sedlacek. Yeah, I wouldn't rule out uh, Sedlacek just yet. It looks as though Max is, you know, stepping things up, but it's just one break. And Sedlacek is down to a finish first, although that's good pressure being applied by Max, who himself is down to a big one. Yeah, straight tons a great shot here. 100. Asks the question. Stayed well away from that triple 20 bed with that final dart. Sensible play by Sedlacek. No need to be careless at this stage. And he will have a crack at tops to break back for a 3 2 deficit. 96. Already required 40. It's just like MVG says, he can't afford any mistakes. Yep. Yeah, the partisan crowd playing their part, maybe to just knock Sedlacek off his balance there. It's starting to sound like Zorbritton from last year, isn't it? Yeah. Very similar indeed. 4-1 to the good. And they're delighted. Well, Max Hopp. Winner of the German Darts Open last year, beating Michael Smith 8-7 in the final. But on the back of that, he didn't really achieve a great deal in the rest of the European Tour last year. He made the third round in Gibraltar, and that was pretty much as good as it got for Max Hopp. 6-3 win against Keegan Brown yesterday, and then 6-3 against Kim Hybrex earlier. 41. 5-180s in that match, an average of just over 96. Do you know what, Rob? I've been agonising over this all day, and I thought that Sedlacek reminds me of somebody, and I finally figured it out. Peter yep. Hunt. Tweet that, get it out there, share that one. Very similar, he's got the same haircut, same sort of facial hair. I'm sure our backstage friend, Jacques Nulat, would probably be able to see it. I'm getting a thumbs up from him. Great player, Peter Hunt. Pop 
popular look right now to have no hair. No, it's effective. So. Aerodynamic. Yeah, there's two of them involved in the first semi-final as well. A little later on this evening. Before that, we have the final of our quarter-finals. Oh, Joe Cullen, Cullen and on. Simon Whitlock. Whitlock yep. with a Euro Tour title to his name. Joe Cullen with that one. That's the exact opposite of what I just said, isn't it? You've got someone who's got the most hair and someone who's fighting to keep his hair. <laughs> now, now. 140. Carry 157. It's all about fighting to keep your weight, your tournament alive at the minute. 97. Actually, 149. Again, he sets it up, asks the question. And last time around, he missed and gave Pop six from this spot. Can't afford to do it again. The crowd will get involved. Eighty-eight. Carolina Bois, sixty. Well, Max Hop. Yes, Can't do anything like about this. It is just a hold of throw for Sedlacek. And for Max, it's all about effectively these two holes of throw and if the opportunities come along on the settler check throw then all well and good that's a good start from Max settler check is going this week he keeps playing like this I think we'll see a lot more of him in the coming seasons he's got a long way to go to make himself the most famous Carol in the Czech Republic though remember Karel Poborski I do he had some hair Euro 96 100. Which was before Max Hopp was born. It was That's two months before Max Hopp was born. Not at all depressing. So at the World Cup, if of darts, he told Yeah, of darts. <laughs> if Karel Sedlicek plays with Pavel Jurkel, you could have Karel and a Pavel, just like Karel Poborski and Pavel Nedved. Anchoring that midfield, as they have done. In the World Cup. Yeah. I think the Czech Republic is booming for this sport. It's the right time to go to Prague because 43. you've got someone who can be the flag bearer. And we're going to see Pavel Jurkel in the next couple of weeks. So the Czechs are coming. You said the Germans have been coming for years. Everybody wants to join the party. 60. Shouldn't be forgotten, of course, that Max Hopp picked up a second PDC ranking title late last year as well when he took the honours at Players' Championship 19 in Dublin against Madars Rasmut. Hardest pro tour to win, that one. Because everybody's there. That's what makes it so incredible that he won a Euro Tour and that particular Players' Championship. Yeah, and I think it was significant for Hopp in that it was a way to ensure that his Euro Tour success wasn't a one-off or something that was crowd-assisted, if you like. Talk of him being a one-hit wonder, maybe, which may have been hard to handle, but it must be a good feeling, I suppose, coming out on top in a field of one to eight when everybody's there. Of course, all the big guns are there as well. Absolutely, there was nobody missing. Fifty-six, actually, quite forty-four. And of course, he then made his World Grand Prix debut against Chizzy the following day. Double sixteen for Hop. Yeah, Sneaks it into the top left corner, and he's one away from a place once again in a Euro Tour semi-final. Yeah, he's just been too strong for Sedlacek. And the levels of Carroll have been up, then down, up today again. But then he's just come down a little bit. He's regressed a bit tonight. Must feel a little bit different for him to play two games in one day. We asked the question about Ted Everts. First time he played two Euro Tour games in one day and he handled it superbly and I think Sedlacek has handled himself fabulously this week 85 well there's a chance here for Hop to just steal a march on his opponent 57 not really taking it though he did mention that the winner gets Whitlock or Cullen and that game Six. follows this. And there's those masks again. Is that the Salvador Dali it's mask? The Salvador Dali. Not very cultural. 
in this hall of all places, the Kultur. The Kulturhalle Zenit. This could be Sedlacek Zenit, it could be as far as he goes this weekend. 96. It's a lot of money towards getting to Göttingen, and that's something that now Sedlacek can really shoot for, something that Max Hobbit, you would feel, will definitely make. But last year you had to make, I think it was £13,000. 13 it was. It may be slightly more this year, given the increased prize money for quarter-finalists and semi-finalists. If in doubt, get to 20. Or 25. Yeah, just win oh, an event. A, win one, yeah, for 25,000. Yeah, you fine, just win an event. That'll sort a lot of things out. It's going to make one bank manager happy at the end of the night. Hop is just stuttering at the minute. He's not scoring heavily, but it's still good enough. A really good last start. And he will be back and should have at least one match start. Pressure's on. Will his match start beat the ball? Will it be match darts, plural, at double 16? Might be something else. It is the ball. Would have been a nice way to finish things off for Max Hop. He knows how to finish a match on a ball. He could do with a flourish, though. I mean, he's averaging just over 90, so he could just do with something just to get the crowd further on side. But Sedlacek steps in, takes out that 76. And who knows, maybe, just maybe, it could be a third successive 6-3 win this weekend for Max Hop. 6-3 against Brown, 6-3 against Hybrex. And if he holds throw here, it will be 6-3 once again. 140. A mere look at that match dart as a, as a bonus match dart because it was against the throw. Maybe the shackles oh, are off for Sedlacek now. He's I've said it time no and I've said it time and time again. It is just it looks like a chasm, but it is just the one break. Five four could easily be called five three as it is now could easily become five five, and then Six. the tension in Hop's shoulders would be unbearable for him. I think. 100. I think the better player right now is Sedlacek. Only just though. And I've said it all along, you can keep your 100 average games. I'd, I'd rather have a game like this. Run about the 90. I like misses for drama. 60. That is world class finishing from both players. Anything from 50% above is brilliant. 71% from Hop. That's exemplary. 98. Taking his time a little bit more now, Max. Oh, yeah. Just going to say, he needed 140 there, really. Well, he's produced a few surprises this weekend, and he may well produce another big surprise here. My word. A fraction away from stunning the crowd inside the Zenith Arena. Well... That was so close. No match dart in this leg, and Sedlacek can get Six one leg closer to him. 25. Well, he just refuses to go away, doesn't he? Yeah, and right. there yeah, is the break, and you can almost hear a pin drop inside here. It is a break back, it is 5-4, and that just makes a huge, huge difference. It really does. And there were signs that that had been on the cards as well. Absolutely right. Who's to say it, that Max Hobb gets another match dart? There are no guarantees in darts. None whatsoever. And Karol Sedlacek just doesn't want this journey to end. And I don't blame him. He's having a ball here in Munich. A journey that began three months ago on a very cold January day in Prague against an unknown Serbian called Armand Avidia. Who would have known at the time that this, or well, that particular victory, would lead to a chance to take Max Hopp to a deciding no, leg in a Euro Tour quarter-final? That's why the system is in place around Europe, so that if you think you're good enough, you can go and have a crack. Well, here's the proof, everybody. 100. Everybody in Eastern Europe, the Nordic-Baltic, 
We've got the new qualifier now for the Western South European qualifier. Get yourself along. Have a go. And see if you can do it with the big boys. And that's just bad fortune for Max. It all seems to be turning right now. Everything's going against him. Now, can Sedlacek just step on the throat of Max Hopp? No, just strain the wrong side of that treble 18 bed. That's not the worst miss in the world. It's a manageable three darts for Sedlacek. And if Max doesn't find a treble here, well, he's down to a big finish of 167. Sedlacek, firm, firm favourite now. 52 away. Topsy wants to take us all the way to a decider. Got to give the crowd a lot of credit. They're not giving them any stick. They're not. I think they're just in a little bit of admiration for Sedlacek and what he's achieving here. He will have three clear darts at tops. I think they're in a state of shock because they thought he's already had one match dart, Max. They thought he was going to get more. Well, the only way he's going to get more is looking like a last leg decider. Double ten. It's yeah, in, it is a last leg decider. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Now, how vital is it that Max Hopp won the bullseye upstairs in the practice room? It could be huge. It could be, but the way he's playing and the way his confidence must be shot, I wouldn't bank on it. That said, he could just prove me wrong. 97. Yeah, missed start at a bullseye, wasn't it, in leg eight for a 6-2 win. 100. It's been one of those nights so far. The crowd are getting their money's worth. Maxi. No Max, but a ton 40. I said I check up to a two treble visit. No signs of tension. Well, OK, he's trimmed off the one. If that counts for anything, I don't think it really does. Now it forces him to hit a max to get to a finish next time. Yeah, anything less than that. And it could well be curtains for him. But... 97. Oh, that's a good dart. Max Hopp is in major control now. 46. That's a real shame. Real shame that he couldn't really make a fist of it in this final leg, but Max Hopp won't be taking anything for granted just yet. And again, now. Sedler checks in the position oh, where effectively he's got a free hit here. He may as well just play with a bit of controlled aggression and see what happens. And that's a lovely first dart as well. And the second dart's not bad either. Can he follow it up? 140. You've got to hold your hands up and say well done to Max Hopp. Under the pressure he was under, he has left double 18 after 12. And he's taken out double 18 with his 13th dart. And Max Hopp is through to the semi-finals of a European Tour event once again. And maybe, just maybe, the heroics he achieved last year at the German Darts Open may well be replicated once again here at the German Darts Grand Prix in Munich. And a little wonder, Max Hopp is very swift to acknowledge his opponents and everything he has achieved, not only in this particular encounter, but in the tournament as a whole. What an introduction to the Euro Tour that is for Karol Sedlacek, a quarter-finalist beyond his wildest dreams, I would have thought on a journey that began way back in January in the qualifiers in Eastern Europe in Prague. I'm pretty sure we'll see him again on the Euro Tour this year, in his homeland later this year. But for now, he can just soak up the adulation of the crowd who can certainly admire what he's achieved so far this weekend. Beating Diogo Portela, beating the number two seed Ian White, beating Darren Webster, but falling just short against Germany's number one, Ooh. Max Hopp, who will face either Joe Cullen <laughs> or Simon Whitlock. Er sah bei 5-2 so komfortabel aus und irgendwann wurde es eng, ne? Ja, es sah sehr komfortabel aus, aber ich habe es mir selber unnötig schwer gemacht. Es war insgesamt eine durchwachsene Partie, äh, keine Glanzpartie. Ich hoffe, ich kann euch im Halbfinale eine bessere Performance äh, präsentieren, aber es war auch nicht leicht für mich. Äh, Kare Sedlacek äh, wohnt gar nicht weit weg von mir. Okay. Ähm, er kommt zwar aus Tschechien, äh, aber wohnt nur 70 Kilometer von mir zu Hause entfernt. Wir haben schon oft miteinander trainiert, kennen uns eigentlich sehr gut. Deswegen, ja, auch eine schwierige Partie für mich. 
Sag mal, du hast im letzten Jahr ziemlich vor einem Jahr genau Saarbrücken gewonnen. Fühlt sich das jetzt anders an als damals, Halbfinale? Ja, es ist immer noch was Besonderes in Deutschland vor Heimpublikum. Ich glaube, da muss ich nichts sagen, oder? Das ist äh, besonders. Zicke, zacke, zicke, zacke. Bis später. Max Hopp, also im Halbfinale und er wird es mit dem Sieger des letzten Viertelfinals zu tun bekommen. Mit Joe Cullen oder Simon Whitlock.